your competitor is 40 times larger than you. Obviously, Cloudflare is incentivized to make a lot of noise and make themselves seem bigger than it is. But until AWS has to respond, this is not real. Nice. <laughs> so as a developer, as a customer of potentially one or both of these, let's say you have a whole bunch of stuff on S3. I'm asking you personally now, Swix, and R2 becomes available. Is that a no-brainer for you? Or is there any reason not to use that? You're just adding another vendor in your in your dependency chain. I think for anyone running significant bandwidth, it is a no-brainer. Yeah. So over the course of n months, where n equals you know when they launch plus a certain number, I mean, I think this is going to end up eventually on Amazon's radar to where it's like it's going to start affecting some bottom lines that important people are going to notice. And so I just wonder, I mean, how much territory can Cloudflare grab before there's a counter move? It's going to be interesting to watch. So Ben from Vantage actually did a cost analysis. Vantage is a startup that is made up of former AWS console people. They're trying to build a better developer experience on top of AWS. They actually did a cost analysis on the R2 move. And they said that there's probably about $100 billion worth of of revenue at stake for Amazon. So if they start to have a significant dent in that, let's say like 40%, AWS will probably have to respond. Mm -hmm. But until then, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Mm. That's literally how it is in in Amazon. Right. right? You, you have the, to see the numbers hit before you you respond. 